What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, Merry Christmas Eve. That's right, Merry Christmas Eve. And, well, we're going to end this night today with a nice gym battle. Now, here we are in, I would like to say, well, what, what, where are we again? Turfield, where I think. Yes, we are in Turfield, I think. I don't know. It has been a long day, guys. It has really been a long day. So, in our last episode, we managed to get to this city, town, whatever, Turfield. Let's see. I gotta read this. Yes, we are in Turfield right now, where all the farming goes, and we actually managed to find some pretty interesting Pokemon and all that stuff. Talk to our girlfriend, Sonia, about some legend Pokemon and all that. And now, it is time for us to go straight to the Pokemon Gym, because, uh, yeah, we need to earn badges and all that stuff. Now, in this gym badge, gym battle, I should say, we got two Pokemon that can actually hold their own against this guy, Krakatoa, and quite possibly Drago for the time being. But, no, we got Shadow Blade right here, too. So, it's going to be an interesting, very interesting battle right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, finally take on a gym leader right here. And, uh, wow, seriously? Oh, God. What am I going to do about you, man? Take a look at this, Draven. The Grass Gym Badge. I got it on one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice at it, after all. But I'm sure you can win this one, too. After all, you are my rival. And there he goes. Flipping you off, buddy. I'm flipping you off. Okay. So, yeah, just like every other Pokemon game, our rival will be ahead of us. As you can see, the Turfield Stadium. His name is not on there, so technically, he hasn't won a gym badge yet. Okay. So, first thing is first. You enter a gym or a stadium. You're going to be looking at this guy right here. This is the ball guy. They're going to have every... Or, every stadium has one of these guys. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, Hey there, thanks for rolling by and having a chat with your mate, the ball guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. And look at that. We get ourselves a friend ball. We haven't seen a friend ball since the Johto region, and, uh, well, as you can see, a strange Pokeball that will make wild Pokemon caught with, with it more friendly toward you immediately. So if there's a Pokemon out there that could evolve through friendship, you know, day night, or just friendship in general, then, you know, this is the Pokeball to catch it. Okay, if you catch a Pokemon with a friend ball, it'll become more friendly, to, uh, uh, friendly with you in no time, just like uh, how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Sure, yes, it is. Okay, so two things right here. You got this place where you can actually buy some new clothes or a uniform shop. Look at that. Different uniforms for our different gyms and all that stuff. Holy bejeebus. And uh, I'm actually liking I'm actually li <laughs> liking the, the ghost one. And quite possibly... Oh, I like this one too. The steel uniform. Look at that. We look like a robot. And then... The electric one. I actually like the leggings because I'm a gym, like I'm actually a gym owner and all that stuff. So we're not gonna do that because they come very, very expensive. Make sure to stock up on some items right here, guys, because this gym is no joke right now. So let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Welcome to the gym, gym, gym challenger. Allow me to help you through the, uh, your registration. First thing is first. How about a quick refresher about the gym challenge? Your goal as a gym challenger is to complete each gym mission different every gym or defeat every gym leader and gather eight gym badges got it so you like to you like to attempt a gym mission yeah let's do it if you would like to attempt a gym mission please change into your uniform okay so of course gym missions are basically like the trial runs that you usually have over in Pokemon Sun and Moon except you actually have a gym battle rather than take on a totem Pokemon and all that stuff so here it is. Then let's the, let the gym mission begin. Give it your best shot. Hmm. Alrighty. This should be easy. <sighs> Walking like a pimp. That's right. Walk it. Look at that. And look at the symbol right here. The grass gym. Whoa. Holy crap. This stadium is pretty awesome. Okay. So as you can see, <laughs> that is the gym challenge. We have to... Uh, I think we have to wrangle a bunch of Wooloo right here. Look at that. Big sexy right there. Big pimpin. Good old Draven ready to kick some ass. So here's the guy. And he's going to be like this. The mission is given to by Turfield Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. To the blockade we've made uh, from our, ba our bales of straw over there. 
Okay. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee, and it's also my job to report the results of the battles to the League HQ. Now, let the gym mission begin. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, let's do this. Get over here, we'll lose. So what we gotta do is we gotta go to the bales right over there, and it looks like to us we're gonna get the majority right here. So that will leaves us that leaves us with 16 of them. So we're gonna have to get away from those Wooloos right now. As you probably already know, Wooloos like to roll around, and all you have to do is just lead them to the promised land right here. And look at that, we got 20. Bam. Okay. And they break the whole they break the whole bales of hay. And now you got a mission right here because you got Balta or you got a uh, Yamper right here chasing these Pokemon. So what you got to do is you got to lead these guys all the way over here before the Yamper gets onto them. And look at that, 20 for 20. Alrighty. So now the next the next challenge right here is that we're going to be battling a Pokemon trainer. So let's go right ahead and do it. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Sorry, but I'll have to send you packet. It's my job. Okay, so here it is guys our very first battle in a gym gym trainer Samuel And of course he is uniformed up and he's gonna be coming out with a gossip fluer Oh, we already caught that Pokemon right there and here we have the Krakatoa I definitely love the nickname right there. So let's go with a flame charge Yes, we are faster. and We're gonna be even more faster because yes This boosts up your speed right here. Look at that Krakatoa speed has boost, but here comes a leafage attack not so effective now that we got a uh, fire coverage. So let's go ahead and use a flame charge yet again. And there we go. Gossifluer has been defeated. How's it feel to fail? Not so good. And uh, well, our Pokemon growing levels. That's awesome. And we defeated Gym Trainer, Gym Trainer Samuel. As expected, a Gym Challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. Okay. Alrighty. So let us move on right here. Okay, so we gotta get we gotta get there before the yamper. So come on, let's get this. Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Dog. Oh. Okay, so that right there wasn't good. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Let's do this. I wonder if your Pokemon want to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. I think they do. I really think they do. So here we go. We're taking on Gym Trainer Mark, and here comes Badoo. Badoo. Okay, Badoo. All right, Krakatoa ready to kick some butt right here. Let's get this Flame Charge. Let's destroy this guy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, and, uh, well, we are, uh, yeah, we, 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 we're kicking some ass right here. That's pretty awesome right there. And, well, we're getting more experience points, and I think... Yes, he does have another Pokemon, so let's give our good old buddy Shadow Blade a chance to just beat the crap out of these Pokemon right here. So, we're going to be switching them out. Shadow Blade, ready, willing, and able. Here comes Oddish. And, well, let's go for a Pluk attack. A Pluk. Definitely looks at attack. Oh, there we go. And Oddish has been defeated. Hell yeah. Alrighty, so we're doing pretty good for our first, uh, our first gym battle right here. And Mark has been defeated, and he's like, I'll give a Bawark instead of a Gamper. Yes. And you gotta love the money that we're earning. It's never too bad to earn that money, guys. Okay, so... I think the Yamper will start chasing us if we defeat that trainer. So, all we gotta do now is gotta move these guys all the way to the Bales of Hail. Or the... <laughs> the... <laughs> the hell? Okay, so they stay right there. I thought they were just gonna move around. Okay, so... That's 17 of them. Now we got to pick up the last three. So where would the heck they be? Where are they? Ah, oh, there they are. All right, you little bastards. Let's go right ahead. Daddy's calling. By daddy, I don't know who. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? There you go. Look at these Wooloo just spin around. And look at that. We get to 20 for 20. Okay. So I do believe this is the last one right here, and again, there is a Yamper going around right there, so we have to move him away from both Yampers. And, oh, 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 oh. So when that happens, we split them up, and of course they are afraid of Yamper, but you know what, let's go right ahead and battle this trainer right here, because I do believe if you defeat the trainer, 
you or they will just call on basically the Pokemon or the Yampers and all that stuff. So let's go. Bounce Sweet. Looking all Bounce Sweet. But here's Krakatoa ready to kick some ass. And let's go with the Flame Charge. Yes, sir. Flame Charge does it for the win. Look at that. And, well, our speed has grown. This is also awesome because, you know what? I like it when I'm faster than everybody else. And, well, let's see. It's about to use Oddish. So let's go ahead and give some more love to Shadow Blade right here. All right, Krakato, you've done your job. Let's go, Shadow Blade. All right. Let's see what's going to happen right here. Here we have Oddish, level 17. And, well, we got the type advantage. So we're going to be going for a pluck attack. Look at that. The pluck attack does its trick. Oddish has been defeated. And, well, look at that. Shadow Blade grows to level 22. And it's learning taunt. Oh, wow. Burping. Taunt. So let's keep our old moves. Don't really need taunt right now. And Leah is like, next is the gym leader, right? What a strong challenger. All right, she's clapping for me. It's more than what anybody else would do. All right, so that actually brings back the Yamper. No biggie. Now we just got to bring these little bastards in here. And there we go, 17 of them. And now we just got to pick up all the last three right here. So let's see, where could you guys be? Ah, oh, there they are. There's two. All right, let's follow these guys. Come on. We got to go get our three. Let's go. And, well, you take them to the promised land and then, bam, 20 for 20. We have, we have officially reached the gym leader right here. Look at that. Holy crap. And these Pokemon just, like, they scatter. Wow. It's pretty awesome. Okay. All righty. So... The next one is going to be the gym leader. So let's go right ahead and do slight healing. Just a little bit. All right, so 22 potions. Let's give that to Krakatoa. And you know what? Actually, hold on just a sec. I'm actually going to have to go right here to my Pokemon. And we're going to be switching out Shadow Blade with Krakatoa. I kind of want to use Krakatoa as my Dynamax Pokemon at the end right here. So let's go right up to the stairs. Look at that. It's all green and everything. Bam! That's right. Gym mission cleared. Okay. Alrighty. Big Pimpin coming in. That's right, guys. Alrighty. So after you defeat or after you finish up the, the, the challenge, you're going through, well, you're going through this gateway right, right here. And yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a big time, big gym, big, big gym stadium feel right here. Kind of like in football. Yes. And would you look at that? There are fans out, and they just want to see this whole gym battle right here. Look at that. Look at that. And here's our first gym leader. This guy right here. Wow, he's got plenty of Pokeballs ready to take us on. Man, this is far different from all the other Pokemon games. We just got regular gyms. But this one right here is a big old stadium. So here's Milo, and he's like, my gym's the first one of uh, one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging. But that didn't stop you from completing it, Draven. Proper job. Seems you're li uh, like you understand your Pokemon for real. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. Okay. All righty, so... Yes, Dynamax is a big thing right here, and you guys probably already seen this a few episodes ago, but here it is! The first gym battle against gym leader Milo, the grass-type trainer, and I'm definitely digging the whole music. Oh yeah, fist bumping. That's right. Get it. Oh yeah. Okay. And look at that. <laughs> oh. So here it is, the Dynamax Phenomenon. In the Gala region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamaxing. Press the Dynamax button when your Dynamax band lights up to Dynamax your Pokemon. Your Pokemon can only Dynamax for three turns. During that time, your Dynamax Pokemon can use extremely powerful moves known as Max Moves. These Max Moves not only deal tremendous damage, but they can also trigger special effects. The exact effect changes depends on the type of the move used, Choose carefully when you want to Dynamax your Pokemon and smash your way to victory. That usually is towards the very end. As you can see, guys, we got the Dynamax band right here. 
We're not going to use that right now. We're going to straight up just beat this guy with regular moves. Now, believe it or not, guys, you can defeat these guys or Dynamax Pokemon with regular moves. They're not so different from the regular Pokemon except their size. And, well, look at that. I'm growing levels. Oh, yeah. Big Booty Balto goes to level 21. All righty. So here he comes out with Elder Boss. We're going to keep it to uh, Shadow Blade right here. And this guy's like, <laughs> we're not going to be done in that easy. We're tough as uh, woes and all that stuff. Here, here comes Eldegoss. And I believe this is his Dynamax Pokemon. Crap baskets on a basket of all, basketball. All right, screw it. We're going to Dynamax Shadow Blade first. Let's do this. Max Airstream. Return my Pokemon. Let's get it. All righty. And away we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that big old chicken right there. Shadow Chicken. That's right, guys. Whenever Dynamax is, I will call it Shadow Chicken. Okay. And here he comes with his Dynamaxing. Come on, then. It's Dynamax time. You're about to be unproded. Or I don't even know what he just said. Look at that. Alrighty. And he's like, okay, it's time to do it. Okay, here comes a big old Dynamax Pokemon right here. Look at this. Now the guys. Holy crap. So who's going to win this one, guys? Shadow Chicken or Eldegoss? Let's see. Okay, so here comes the Max Airstream. And bam. Now, this is super effective. It increases my speed just a tad bit more. And this guy's like, the hell are you? They're really leaving shock and awe. It's our time. Okay, so here comes Max Overgrowth. I've used this move plenty of times, guys, and trust me, it hurts, but it benefits us all, too, because it actually heals your Pokemon. And, well, this guy right here, grass grew to the uh, to the battlefield. So now, everybody's getting uh, their HP restored. So let's go ahead one more time. Max Airstream. Let's go, Shadow Chicken. And just like that, Eldegoss has been defeated. Yes, yes, yes! Alright, look at that. <laughs> Shadow Chicken is the victor. And our Pokemon grows some more levels. Look at that, Optimus grows to, to level 23. And Michelangelo to level 21. And he wants to learn Headbutt. Okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and take away Tackle. We don't really need that move anymore. And to death, look at that. Headbutt has been learned. There we go. And we finally win. Shadow Chicken wins. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Milo's like, oh wow. Power of Grass was wilted. What an incredible challenger. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So good stuff, good stuff. We're 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 earning our, our, our money's worth right here. That must have been very fulfilling Pokemon or well hold on, let me re let me do this uh, again. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof that you have defeated the gym leader for the grass uh, for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. Alrighty, shaking hands. Damn you, big homeboy! And look at that, our very first gym badge, the grass badge. Doesn't look so much. Yeah, it doesn't really look much. Now with the grass badge, we can actually capture Pokemon at level 25. You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And, only, and the only way to gather the gym badges is to defeat every gym leader. Alrighty, okay. Woo, okay. Challenger Draven, my most sincere congratulations on defeating the gym leader, Milo. Please accept this TMS to commemorate your victory. Look at that. Throwing out the peace sign, TM10, Magical Leaf. Okay. The user scatters curious leaves that chase uh, the target. This attack never misses. Here, you can use you can use Milo, or you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. Alrighty, so we got the grass uniform. Pretty awesome, pretty good. And uh, look at this, Milo. Dude, how much you bench? Fuck, I'm jealous. Some advice to you, Draven. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be in Holberry to meet Nessa. Her Holberry's just beyond Route 5. Or since you've got uh, since you've got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that that are higher level than the Pokemon you're on your team, but 
They make powerful allies if you succeed. That is true. That is so goddamn true. Now, let's see. We got one badge. Can we? Yes. We are now enabled to, uh, to get uh, a few great balls right here. So I'm going to actually get at least 12 because uh, we're going to need some of that. And we got a premier ball. And we need quite a few super potions because <laughs> it's going to get tough from here. It really is. Alrighty, look at that big pimpin' getting out of here with one badge. Oh yes. So there it is, guys. We won our very first badge in the uh, in the Galar region, and you know this is what I like about this whole thing. Hold on, let's go right here. Lee card. This is what I like about gym badges here. It is circular. It all it all becomes a like it all it's all a puzzle. And it's all in one circular jewelish whatever you know thing right here. So now we can actually capture Pokemon up to level 25. Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to our requests and all that stuff. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our album right here. Now we got ourselves Milo's. Let's go ahead and flip this card right here. This trainer was born to uh, born as a son of a farmer. He he has honed his strength, stamina, and skill as a Pokemon trainer from a young age by working together with his Pokemon. Because of his gentle nature, he has trouble going all out on weaker opponents, which is why his gym is the first for challengers to attempt during the gym challenge. He always wears his boots, as apparently they let him dig uh, dig in his heels when he needs to. Really. So that that explains a lot. And are you alluding? Like, are you saying that I'm weak? Man, that's kind of tough. That's tough. That's tough. Okay. Alrighty. So, that is our first gym battle. Very first gym badge. Is there anything else that we need to do? I don't know. I kind of feel like we're waiting on something. Okay, so now we can go that way. We're going to stay tuned right here, guys. In the next episode, I want to say there's going to be lots of changes. There will be a little bit of changes in regards to my appearance and all that stuff. Hopefully, we can actually get to the next part right there. Actually, you know what? Off screen, I will be going back to the old town. That way, I can change my appearance. I think a makeover is in, uh, in effect, as you can see. Look at that. Yes, my hair is growing. Yeah. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to the next town. We will be finding some new Pokemon. Hell, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. But again, Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys out there. Thank you guys for the subscriptions. Thank you guys for supporting this episode, or this episode and this channel. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.